<laughs> hey, Kenny, you're in your dressing room, man. This is crazy. Beautiful thing, man. Thank you. I mean, the guy literally asked, he said, Kenny, what do you need? You need water? You need something to eat? You need a stool? You need a wire? Mic? I mean, how does that, what is that, what happens to you when you hear that stuff? I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of surreel being in Fresno and feeling like this because I'm usually running from people. You know, but uh, now it's, I feel like a celebrity, man. You know, I'm, I'm next to one of the most beautiful news people in Fresno. There she is. You know, you. Know, so, you know, this is this is a beautiful thing, man. It's kind of it's kind of weird to uh, come back home and, and feel this way. Uh, you know, usually when you're on the road, you know, they treat you how they treat you um, because they don't know you. You can be famous, or you can be well. Like I don't, I don't like I know like for fighters and like football players and like you know sports, they have game plans. You know what I mean? Right. But like comedians, like what's your game plan? I like to watch uh, Blues Clues and SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> that we get the material before I go on. Uh, you know, that makes me feel a little bit more funny. No, no. I... Yo, Fresno, what's up? This is Fresno? Hold on, we gotta start this over. I gotta come out and start this all over again. Competition, and that talent competition was to find a local comedian that would open up for Carlos Mencia. And ladies and gentlemen, we found that man, and he's from right here in Fresno. At this moment, I want to introduce the man that won that talent competition. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm Fresno welcome to Mr. White people, that's the boogeyman. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna understand any of this. Like, what is he talking about? Oh man, but I love my Mexican man. Because Mexican, Mexicans got a lot of racial pride. Like they're very proud people, aren't they? Very, very proud. Beautiful, beautiful that you guys. Are. I think you guys take it too far sometimes. So, like, you, calm, calm down a little bit. Like Mexicans are so proud that they name their kids Jesus. <laughs> Like, your, your name is Jesus? Like, whoa, those are, those are some big shoes to fill, right? Like, because no matter what, like, if I grew up with a Jesus, I'm going to hate on him every day. I'm going to hate him. Even growing up in school, like, hey, what'd you get on your math test player? A B plus? Told you he wasn't Jesus. I told you he was not Jesus. I'm like, man, my mom better be happy with the C minus, because if Jesus don't even know the answers, how am I going to get it? Better be happy. I bet not get grounded because of you, Jesus. I love my Latinos, man. But you know what? If anybody deserves the name Jesus, it's the, it's, it's the Mexicans. I'm sorry. You guys work hard. Like, Mex I hate working with Mexicans because you make me look lazy. Like, if you're going against a promotion against a Mexican, just quit. Just quit. Because you ain't, you ain't going to get it. Because Mexicans take it the extra mile. When simple stuff, like mop the floor. Mexicans won't just mop the floor. They'll put down new tile. They, they paint the walls and doing oil changes. I'm like, this, this is a grocery store. Like, it, we don't even do that here. Like, what are you doing? I love my Latinos, man. I love, where are my Mexican ladies at? Where are my Latinas at? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Spicy. I love my Latino women, man. That's the only reason I watch the Spanish channel. Sorry, I do. You ever watch the Spanish channel? Telemundo. I love it. And I don't understand Spanish, I'm, a, I'm not gonna lie. I don't understand Spanish, but I love the way they talk because everything they say they're so passionate about. They're so passionate. You ever watched it? Este semana un siete y seis centro un sábado. Un sábado. I don't have, I have no clue what he said. All I know is I'm sold. I'm sold. Un sábado. I'm gonna go home now. Uh, sorry, I don't have like a big joke at the end of my routine. I don't, I don't care. Um, no, because it's weird. Like this is my job. Like I do this for a living, right? So you know, you guys have regular jobs, right? You guys don't start working hard at the end of your shift, do you? Like, no. You just get up and you go home, right? You know what I'm saying? And that's what I do, man. When I'm done with my last joke, I just leave. Let's hear it one more time for Kenny Thomas, everybody!
she looked like an old woman. <laughs> <laughs> he was all like, oh, swab, Mr. Smith. He was like, perfect nice. What's up? I got stuff. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> stories, right? I know. Last night, no, I, I was making out with this chick. Her friend walks in. They start making out with each other. They see you. Know, Everyone's like, like making out. I did a. I'm really a douchebag. That's awesome. It's like, Take it out. One time I'm a burger here, here, okay? Or something like that. I, I order one Whopper. Pay for one Whopper. Out the back, there's freaking two, alright? Without I pay for one. I'm like, eat them all at the same, same time. time. I did some dip on the ranch, like, yeah! It's kind of like a breeze. But that was, that's different. Eat it. It's, it's, you could even make it more. I am single, but not for long, okay? I have found the best place to pick up chicks. At the end of work, Ross. nobody does work. Yes. You ladies know what I'm talking about. You can't turn me down in a Ross. That's impossible. As soon as I got like your time, I'm like, whatever. You're shooting me in a Ross. You serious? I ain't gonna call me that. You turn me down and you're walking away a lot. It's like, whatever. As soon as I click, you go. Whatever you're doing, that's not your job. I mean, you know, I'm supposed to be doing fine. We got some cougars in the house tonight, too. We got one for the cougars, man. I'm actually being confused for a minute. Oh, they're hot. Oh, they're hot. Like, I can teach you a thing or two, youngster. <laughs> like, what about the simple right? Get on your feet right now, everybody in here, get on your feet. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen a lot of them and see ya. Movies all around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Carlos Mancia! Oh my God. Thank you guys. So oh, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Rest yourselves. Relax. You tell people from, you're from Fresno, but you're really from like Hanford or Brazil. You know, yeah. <laughs> Fresno people are like, I'm not going to the fair. <laughs> going to the stupid fair. <laughs> Hanford's like, the fair is almost here. <laughs> All right, I don't mean to be mean, but I drove here. Anybody from Pixley? Seriously. Yeah? Put a stick up in your city. I'm serious about this. Look at this thing! I'm looking at my brother going, do I have something on my lip? He's like, I don't know, do I? He smells like caca. I know. And then I swear to God, I pulled over and walked into a, a into a, I think it's a mobile station or a Chevron. But they have a, they, and it's right before Pixley coming up, and they, that's where they have the Quiznos too. So I walked in there and I looked at the lady and I'm like, hey, lady, what's that smell out there? <laughs> and I swear to God, seriously, she goes, it's the grapes. No, bitch, it's not the grapes. <laughs> Got to do homework. <laughs> <laughs> See, the people that are laughing, you're going to be well. You're going to be fine. The people that aren't laughing, don't ever have sex again. I'm being very serious. Don't ever have kids. Don't ever have kids. Because I know that you're dumb and whoever you're with is fine too. Let's get that out of the way. Because that's, that's, you see those couples? I'm serious. The fair, really, listen. The fair is the place where you see couples and without even thinking your whole body goes, damn, I hope they don't have kids.